Hello everyone and welcome back to this war of mine. Uh, in the last episode it ended up with us going to the shelled cottage, I think it was called. Uh, the very first house that we went to and finding that all of the stuff I left there had disappeared. Um, I was so mad and so like incredulous that that even happened because it's never happened before. Usually if you leave something at a place, when you go back, it's still there. So I actually... Um, after I finished recording, I exited the game and loaded it back up, uh, hoping that it, w you know, if there was a glitch or something, that it would be fixed. And I replayed all of day 15. Like, I did the same stuff. I upgraded the heater, and um, there were a couple things that were different when I loaded it back up. Um, Roman was sick, slightly sick. And uh, the trader came, but he had, like, different things. He didn't have as many components. Um, so I still traded the moonshine and the jewelry, um, but I didn't get as many components and I got a, a little bit extra water instead. And he actually did have vegetables that time, which, uh, he didn't have when I recorded it, but I didn't buy them because I didn't want to, I didn't want too many things to be different. Um, so anyway, I went back to the shelled cottage and everything was still gone. So this is, um... Marco coming back. The night was calm. I actually had Roman sleep overnight because he was sick. Um, so hopefully he's better now. Marco went looking for supplies but couldn't find anything useful. Yeah, because all of our stuff. I am, like, kind of devastated. I mean, there were 30 sugar there. I'm sure there were electrical parts and who knows what else. And I'm just really, really upset that now I don't have that stuff. I won't be able to make any moonshine. I got nothing. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. It's not your fault, Marco. It's the game being crazy. I don't know what is going on with this game. First Boris dies for no reason, and then all my stuff's missing. Like, I know I keep saying, that's never happened before, but I have played this game a lot. I have like over 50 hours, and this is my, what, fifth or sixth playthrough, so I think, you know... I know what's supposed to happen and what's not, and that's not supposed to happen. Anyway, so... Okay, Mar uh, Roman's not sick anymore. He, wa he was sick when I replayed the day, but I had him sleep. Uh, let's see, they don't need to eat today. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything. Because we didn't get any supplies, so nothing has changed since... <sighs> Last time. Crap. I can't do anything. I have no sugar. I have one sugar. I have no herbs to make another bandage. Oh, I have one piece of food and one canned food. This is bad. This is really, really bad. I need to make some more fuel for the fire. That's pretty much all we're going to do today. Because I don't think the trader will be coming back. Did I have... Oh, I must have had Katya guard, um, because Romana was sleeping, so she's had some coffee. We'll put her to bed now. And then we need to fill up the heater. God, I'm so bummed. Okay, we have one fuel. I'm gonna make two more, I guess. Oh, something else that changed, I will show you. Uh, when I replayed the day, I actually listened to the radio and there was a bunch of new news. So we'll go and look at that. There was only one, one thing that's really important that's worth showing. But it is worth showing. Um, what's going on here? Are you finished making the fuel? Oh, God. Okay. Trying not to get angry with the game because I love this game, but... So, this was all new news yesterday, uh, day 15. Some of our listeners report that the military has been committing acts of violence towards civilians. The spokesman for the military denies. Mm -hmm. The Weather Channel said, Winter holds us firmly in its icy grip. Many people froze to death in the recent days. The only upside is the decrease in crime, as even the bandits huddle in their homes. So, I think during winter, I mean, you get raided much less, so it's safer to have people sleep if you need them to. This is the important one. Uh, day 15, 
Only one re week remains to the start of the planned international peacekeeping op operation. The whole of Groznavia is holding its breath. So, this is telling me that in within a week, like by day 22, uh, the war might be over. Which I have a hard time believing, but we'll see. Uh, is there any new news today on day 16? Uh, nope. And weather. Yep, still all the same. Okay. Uh, so, this, you know, would be good if the war ended within a week because I am not doing well. I mean, everybody's fine, but I just don't have the supplies I need to get stuff done. And it's kind of bumming me out. Well, uh, you know, at least you've got some cigarettes. Go ahead, smoke it up, boy. <laughs> we brought back those two crappy cigarettes from wherever. Who's this now? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Little kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're gonna want my medicine. You little bastards. <laughs> They're gonna want my medicine, and uh, if I don't give it to them, everybody's gonna be pissed. Shit. We have one medicine, two- if they want the herbal meds, I'd rather give them those. <sighs> Stop banging on my door, little brat. <laughs> Our mom is sick, please help us. We live several blocks away from here. Our mom is very ill. She needs medications. Could you please spare any? Without your help, she will die. After daddy went to fight, we only have her. Please help us save her. Oh my god. <laughs> How can I say no to that? You can't say no to that. So they're going to take our one good medication. Yes, I will help. I cannot say no. That is awful. <laughs> and then they're going to come back in a couple days and want food. Ugh. Let's see if Roman calls them little brats, too. Poor children, I hope our meds are enough to help their mother. Even Roman's nicer about it than me. Wow, that's pretty bad. <laughs> okay, well, it should make people happy. Yeah, she's content. Those kids are very brave. They risk their lives walking around the neighborhood to save their mother. Yep. Well, at least they're happy again after Boris died and they all got sad. Mar well, she's the only one who's happy. We just couldn't leave those poor kids without help. That would be callous. Yes, I know. I always planned on helping them. I just wanted to call them little brats first. <laughs> okay, so they're just both hungry and she is still tired. Um, let's have Marco fuel up the fire. So I think we need to... I kind of want to go back to the garage because I'm worried that that stuff has disappeared too. Maybe like if you leave it for too long it disappears, but I don't know. Oh, we're gonna need to get some food. Hmm. Is there anything I can make? Can't make moonshine, can't use this thing. Can't make water. Should I make another heater? That's all of our components and all some of our wood. I think I'm gonna put that off another day. Yeah, we can't really make anything except the friggin' guitar. <laughs> I'm not even gonna worry about upgrading this thing. We just don't have the stuff to do it. Have I made a knife yet? I never did make my knife. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll just hold out on that stuff until we need it. It's not getting warm enough, though.
screw it. I'm making another heater. I don't want them to start getting sick and we just gave away our medicine, so we need to keep it warm. The upgraded heater is just not enough, so can we put this... I guess we'll just put it in here. I don't care. <laughs> Smoking again, huh? I think that's just all the cigarettes we have, so you better enjoy that. Yeah, no more cigarettes. So, what to do tonight? We can either send Katya to the garage. She could probably trade one of our bandages for a lot of uh, food. I think I'm going to go to the hospital, actually. Because I'll know they'll have components and stuff, and I think there might even be some food that you can find. You could trade with the hospital, too. You can uh, trade with the doctor. Hmm. I think I'll send Marco, though to carry more stuff. Alright, let's get some fuel in here if we even have any. No, we don't have any. We need to make some fuel. It always switches around the order. Like, I never know which one's the one to burn wood. It used to be on the end. Uh, let's just make two... Three, I guess. Oh, because this needs another one. You want to keep the upgraded one topped up the most and then just add a little bit to this. Because it's not too far off of being warm, but... Roman, since you're just sitting there, go down here. Um, I'm just going to add one for now, and that should, okay, 17, let's add them to the day, that's, okay, it went down to 15, so that should still be warm enough. Ugh. bastards. It said 76%, and it said, um, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to dwell. Guard, scavenge, sleep, let's go to the hospital. Just do it. I'm not even going to think about it. Uh, I'm not going to take anything. Um, maybe I should have built a shovel, because I think there's some places that need to be cleared away, but uh, it's fine. We'll just go here and get what we can. They say it still operates. Maybe it's just over there. I don't think it is, because you can usually come here and get free medicine and stuff. Oh, look, some sugar. It looks very dark. There's nothing bad going on. I'm super cautious now. Like, this place should be fine, but... I don't make any trouble. I don't plan on it. See, you can steal, but that is not a good idea. A, you will get shot in the face. B, it's like the most horrible thing you can do to steal from the hospital. And everybody will be super depressed. And C... Uh, it's just a dick move, and I, it's something I would never do. I watched so many playthroughs where people come to the hospital to get free medication, and then they're like, oh, I'll just steal some stuff while I'm here. And I sit there going, what? What are you talking about? You've just ruined everything. <laughs> uh, that person has this icon is where you can go. Um, if you're wounded, they will bandage you up. I am so happy there's a ton of components here. Because I really need those. Um, see, and this even this cabinet, if you click on this, uh, it's locked. And they'll get immediately uh, angry. So don't do that. 
Uh, it's an excerpt from the damage report after one of the shellings. General surgery had 32 patients, 3 killed. Neurology, 13 patients, 0 killed. The children's ward, 34 patients, 32 killed, 2 wounded. Seems the children's ward took the most damage. Yes, just another way for this game to make you feel absolutely horrible. Moving on. <laughs> uh, is there anything over here? There's a guy in there. I don't... Is that a door? I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll check. Don't run, actually. Oh, that's not a door. It's just open. Okay. Um, let's go up here. I don't think jo Dr. Jeff Amal gets his salary. No, probably not. Uh, that's stealing. Um... I don't think there's any other free stuff to take. Are you a patient? No. I'm just looking. Uh, there's no door there. Okay. We don't need to go in there. Let's go up here. What's in here? Stealing? Nope. Don't want to. But we can take this. I have medications to trade. You should. Oh, if you have medications to trade, you should talk to the doctor. Sorry, I didn't bring any with me. But we're getting lots of wood and components, which is good. And this one. We're trying to. Oh! Please behave, you're in a hospital. Yeah, they don't like it if you run. Sorry! Um, should I bother taking one sugar? And one herb? Probably not. I'll just make sure there's no nothing else. Oh, I ran again. Sorry. <laughs> if I could get a couple more of each, I could do something with them. <gasps> Vegetables! Bye, sugar. Desperately need the vegetables. And you know what? Buy herbs. I can't do anything without- is it four or five herbs? So... I'm gonna take those. What else? I'm not gonna run. Let's be respectful of the hospital. I don't have anything to trade. And what's up here? I'm too impatient. I have to run. <laughs> anything? Uh, stealing. Locked cabinet stealing. Oh, there's something over here. Don't shoot me, okay? Careful, pal. I've got my eye on you. Yep, we're not doing anything, dude. More components. Okay, so that's probably all. And I didn't make a pile of extra stuff, but it's not that big a deal because there's hardly anything here. Let's just check. This is where the doctor guy is, where you can trade stuff, but... There might be a pile somewhere. Oh, there's a pile in there? Oh, that's... I already checked that. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, you can trade with him. I'm just going to check in here real quick. Make sure there's nothing that we can take. Nope, just stealing. I mean, you could go in here and shut the door and steal and nobody would see it, but 
Why would you ever do that? <laughs> Even if you were desperate, like, there's better places to steal from than the freaking hospital. Alright, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go? Yeah, I think I checked everything. And... I think I'm just gonna do this one day for this episode, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like or a comment if you would like to, and I will see you next time. Bye!